Hi, today let me answer one of the commonly asked questions on our YouTube channel. How do you record your PowerPoint videos? Do you use PowerPoint itself or do you use some other program? The answer is I don't use PowerPoint to record my presentation videos, I use Camtasia instead. I don't use PowerPoint's native recording option because of three big issues. In this video, I'll show you what those three big issues are and how you can overcome those issues using Camtasia and come up with beautiful and professional presentation videos. So watch the video till the end. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We share creative PowerPoint ideas to help professionals like you create engaging presentations. First of all, what is Camtasia? Camtasia is an easy to use screen recording and video editing program that allows you to create top quality online video tutorials, product walkthroughs, demos, etc. We thank TechSmith, the creators of Camtasia for sponsoring this video. In fact, I've been using Camtasia for the past 10 years to create more than 3000 videos for various video content for my YouTube tutorials, online courses, etc. And my experience has been nothing but great. Today, let me practically demonstrate to you how to use Camtasia to convert your PowerPoint slide deck to a presentation video complete with narration, annotations, multimedia, etc. So let's jump right in. First, to download Camtasia, you come to techsmith.com. Here, go to products and here you see Camtasia. You can click on free trial to get a 30 day free trial for Camtasia to check it out. If you decide to purchase Camtasia, I have good news for you. TechSmith has agreed to offer all our viewers of Presentation Process YouTube channel a discount of 10% when you use the coupon code in the description box below this video. As soon as we launch Camtasia, we see this dialog box. All we need to do is to hit the new recording button. We get this dialog box. This button allows you to start the recording. This option allows you to record system audio. That is, if there is any audio which is part of your presentation, it will get recorded here. This one allows you to choose the microphone you want to use for your narration. I can click on the drop down here and I can choose the mic. Then we have the option to choose the webcam you want to use. Here we have the various options. You can click on the relevant option and that specific webcam will be on and your image will be captured as part of the video recording. Then we have the option for screen. When you click on the drop down menu for screen, you can see the various options available for your screen capture. You can choose to record the entire screen in the resolution you want, whether it is 1080p or 720p. And if you want to record only a specific region on your screen, you can choose this option called choose region. I'll show you how this option can be quite handy while recording your PowerPoint videos. Here is the sample slide deck with three slides which we will try to convert to a video. Before we hit the record button, let me give you one tip that can significantly improve the quality of your presentation videos. Whenever we record a PowerPoint video, our natural tendency is to go to slideshow mode and then start recording the entire screen. This is a big mistake which even experienced presenters make. The reason is when you are in the slideshow mode, you can't refer to your slide notes. Unless you are a highly gifted speaker, I strongly recommend that you write your notes for every slide. This ensures that you don't forget some of the key points while explaining your slide. It also gives you confidence while narrating and will ensure that you don't unnecessarily ramble while you explain your slide. Second, when you are in the slideshow mode, you are flying blind. You don't really know what slide comes next or what animation would play next. So you will face a lot of awkward moments. So what's the solution? A simple alternative is to use the presenter mode while you record. To go to presenter mode, you use the shortcut Alt F5 and this is the ideal way to record your screen. While selecting the region for capture, you click on this option here and go to choose region and adjust these handles to ensure that only the portion that you see here is recorded. Now what that does is it allows you to refer to your notes quite easily. 
you also have a clear idea of what slide comes next or what animation comes next. You can have a clear idea of how much time you are spending on a particular slide and you can access the pen tool quite discreetly. There are so many advantages to recording your slide narration using the presenter view. Now let me read the narration for my next slide. I say, tuberculosis is a potentially fatal contagious disease that can affect almost any part of the body, but is mainly an infra inf infraction of the lungs. There, I made a mistake. Now, what would you do if you were recording using PowerPoint's native recording option? Yes, you need to record the slide again. This is especially painful when your slide has a lot of content and you make a mistake somewhere towards the end of the slide in your narration. You have to start recording all over again. Nobody likes to record the narration for a slide over and over. Whereas with Camtasia, this process becomes quite easy. All you need to do is to pause for a few seconds and then repeat just the portion you want corrected. For example, I say, but is mainly an infection of the lungs. That's it. The pause that I gave helps me in my editing process. I just need to look for the pauses and cut out the mistakes that I made before the pause and the editing is done. I'll show you how to do this when I explain the editing process. This freedom to make as many mistakes as I want while recording my narration, which I can easily remove during the editing process, is one of the biggest reasons why I use Camtasia instead of PowerPoint's native recording option. When I use PowerPoint, I have this huge pressure on my head to get all my narration correct in one go. This pressure in itself is enough to force me to commit mistakes. Let's move on. I want you to closely observe how I move from one slide to the next while narrating. I say, the disease is quite common in certain parts of the world. And here is the data that shows the prevalence of the disease across the world. Did you notice that? I connected one slide to the next with a clear verbal transition. This connecting narration between the slides is the difference between boring PowerPoint videos and videos that sound like a story. Unfortunately, you can't do this with PowerPoint. Here is a sample of how the same narration would sound when you use PowerPoint's native recording option. The disease is quite common in certain parts of the world and here is the data that shows the prevalence of disease across the world. Did you notice that the audio was off during the slide transition? And that is because PowerPoint by design records the individual segments of your slide narration as individual audio or video files. So the audio related to this slide is shown here and the audio related to the next slide is shown here. And anything you narrated during the slide transition from one slide to the next is totally ignored. So while using PowerPoint, once you finish narrating a slide, you shut your mouth, wait for two seconds till the slide transition plays out and then start recording for the next slide. There is every chance that you will lose the attention of your audience during this uncomfortable pause. This inherent limitation of PowerPoint makes it a nightmare to record narration for slides that have slide transition, which includes the beautiful morph transition. With Camtasia, my narration sounds smooth with clear verbal transitions even when I use morph transitions on my slides. And you can make your narration sound like a story and that is the second big reason why I choose Camtasia over PowerPoint's native recording option. Now that we did our recording, it's time to edit the recorded portion. First, let us see how we can enhance the audio we captured. Let me select this audio portion. Then go to more and here I have audio effects. Now take a look at the kind of audio effects I can add onto the recording. I can do audio compression. I can level the audio across the recording. I can increase the clip speed. I can fade in, fade out. And more importantly, I can reduce the noise. There is this beautiful option called noise removal. To apply the effect, all you need to do is to click and drag it onto the audio. Here you see the option for noise removal. Let me keep the sensitivity down and maybe keep this to around eight and hit enter. Then 
I can do audio compression. I can click on this. You can see that the volume is totally leveled. I can then increase the volume across the recording like this. The thing is, none of these audio enhancing options are available when you use PowerPoint's native recording option. Now, editing in Camtasia is extremely simple and intuitive. If you find any pauses, like for example, I finished my recording here, I don't really need any of this portion. I can select the portion and hit delete and that portion is gone. The same way, if I have to do that somewhere in the middle of my recording, I can do so. I can select this and then hit cut and that is gone. Now, this comes in handy, especially when I want to correct my mistakes. If you remember, I made a mistake while reading this part of the slide. Observe the mistake here. Let me go here to the specific time and then but let me play. mainly an in infarction of the lungs. Can you see? I said infarction of the lungs, which is actually the wrong thing. I said the right one here, but is mainly an infection of the lungs. So this needs to replace the earlier one. So all I need to do is to select the portion which is not required. I can move this green portion here and move it closer. This is the mistake. I can then cut this and now see how the whole thing plays from here. Affect almost any part of the body, but is mainly an infection of the lungs. Can you see? It is that easy for me to remove the mistakes in Camtasia. Now, another thing I want you to notice is this inset video that you see here is totally editable. You can crop it just as you would crop any portion of the video. Like I can go here and I can crop just this part here and I can move it to the side. And if I don't want this inset video during certain parts of the video, I can delete it as well. I'll show you how to work with this inset video like a pro in a separate video. For now, to keep things simple, I don't really want this inset video. So all I need to do here is to right click on this track which combines audio and video. I can go here and say separate audio and video. And if I want to remove the video track, I can select that track and I can delete. Now I can move this down. I don't have the inset video. Now I want to take this particular slide to the next level. Here you can see all I'm doing is to read whatever that I've written here and that can really bore your audience. So instead of showing this text, I want to show a clip of someone coughing with tuberculosis while this narration is on. How do I do that? It's very simple. Let me go to media, right click, go to import media and then choose the video clip that I had already downloaded and say open and that opens and places this asset here in the media area. I go to the start of the slide which reads tuberculosis. So it says tuberculosis is potentially fatal contagious disease. So now I want to add this on top. Now observe how the video plays. Tuberculosis is a potentially fatal contagious disease. Did you notice now with this video, the quality of this narration goes to a whole new level. Unfortunately, you can't do this with PowerPoint because PowerPoint refuses to render any multimedia included as part of the slide deck. It's a big limitation. Let me play the recording in this area. You can notice that the incidence is quite severe in Africa. So I'm talking about Africa here. So I need to ensure that this portion needs to be zoomed in. All I need to do is to go to animations, go to zoom and pan, and then I just need to zoom in only that part of the slide that I want to show. Like you can see here, this is the area that I want to show. Now see how the recording plays. It's quite severe in Africa. Did you notice that when I talk about Africa, I zoom in on Africa. Now, while I'm here, I can even add an annotation to provide some extra information. To add annotation, I can go here to annotations and I can place the annotation here and I can say data regarding Africa. So this data can be pointed and you can see that I can move my handle here. Now this one shows while I talk about Africa, I can move the location of this annotation anywhere I want. 
And to add some drama, I can even add some behavior here, like say this pop-up behavior for this annotation. So when I play this, you can see that that is how the annotation plays. Can you see how these various options can make your narrated video so much more engaging compared to the plain vanilla recording that you get when you do with PowerPoint's native recording option? Now, once I finish my editing process, I can go to export and I have a whole bunch of options available for me to export my video. If I want it exported directly to YouTube or Vimeo, I can do so right inside Camtasia. If I want to have a video file for myself, I can go to local file and I can click on the drop down menu and I can choose the resolution I want. Let us say I want to have an MP4 only with 1080p. I can click on this and I can hit next and I can choose the location where I want to have the file saved and I can say finish, my video will be recorded and the output will look something like this. In this presentation, let's understand the basics of tuberculosis disease. We will explore the seriousness of the indication, common misconceptions and the treatment methods. First, let's understand what is tuberculosis in the first place. Tuberculosis is a potentially fatal, contagious disease that can affect almost any part of the body, but is mainly an infection of the lungs. The disease is quite common in certain parts of the world. And here is the data that shows the prevalence of the disease across the world. You can notice that the incidence is quite severe in Africa. So if you want to create professional quality videos for your online courses, product walkthroughs, demos, etc., it makes sense to use programs like Camtasia, which are exclusively designed for your screen capture and video editing needs. It is unfair to expect PowerPoint to do all these functions because it is mainly a program meant for slideshows. You use it once and you will know the difference. By the way, if you decide to purchase Camtasia, we have a discount code available in the description box below the video where you get 10% off. Now, what I showed you was just a small glimpse of what you can do with Camtasia. I have plans to come up with more videos on how to use Camtasia like a pro. If you are interested in knowing more about the program, please leave your comments below. So go ahead and click on the link in the description box below the video and see how Camtasia can make a difference to the quality of your presentation videos.